I'm Annie Botticelli and welcome to my special report on all of the planets going direct. Cosmic green lights is what I'm calling the theme of this month and it will definitely unleash celestial powers. So it's a very exciting time. It's kind of a long period of time as well. So we're going to talk about time frames and how you can most use this energy. My work is all about helping you align with the natural rhythms of the universe, making the most of the possibilities so that you can live your best life. So that is my intention to help you with that. So we're going to put things in layers. I'm going to talk about the timelines and then we'll talk about the potentials. Okay, so the first thing, let's talk about what does it mean for a planet to be going direct? A direct means it's moving forward in its orbit. The opposite of that is retrograde. Retrograde is when it looks like from our position on Earth that a planet is going backwards in its orbit. Even though it's not, our perspective makes it look like it is and that has effects on the Earth. So as above, so below, the Emerald Tablet told us this very important understanding and it echoes out through our use of astrology and our understanding of spiritual laws that rule our experience here on Earth. Okay, so if it looks like something's going retrograde out there, the perception is more important than the reality in this case, okay? So when things are going retrograde, it lends itself to inward and backward energies, you know, deep going in and kind of obstacles to progress and kind of going back over old details and, you know, really just like a quiet, still place of, you know, not being able to plan and, you know, not being able to see really far ahead. And, and there are many things that are great that can be done in those times. And because we have so many planets that we look at in typical, you know, Western astrology reading, it's very rare for all of them to go direct. So January 27th through May 2nd, all of them are going direct. Now within that time, there's another mini time frame that I want to give you because when a personal planet, the ones closer to us, Mercury, Venus, or Mars, has its retrograde cycle, the time before it goes retrograde, there's a shadow period, okay? And in that shadow period, we see similar types of things to a direct, uh, I mean, to a ret actual retrograde. And so there's a period within those dates, which is, well, actually it starts a little sooner, January 21st through March 20th, where we're free from personal planet shadow periods as well as the planets being direct, okay? So taking your biggest actions during that smaller time frame, we'll say January 27th through March 20th, that's going to have the most power because you'll be free not only of the outer planets going retrograde, but also the personal planets having shadow periods, okay? So now let's talk about the potentials of the cosmic green lights and this unleashing of celestial powers. One of the first things that you will see is enhanced momentum, all right? Now, when we talk about astrology layers, we're always having to talk in generalities. That was actually something that put me off about astrology when I first started learning it and kind of made me dismiss it and walk away from it until fate tapped me on the shoulder and I couldn't avoid it anymore. So um, in any case, we do have to make general assertions, um, but, but also as I do this, I want to let you know that each individual is individual and we are more than just the general effects. So an individual can have a different experience than the energetic potentials that are, are general are you know offering because we have aspects within our charts that are happening that could add intensity and you know and conflict with what we may talk about in a general transit. Okay, so I just want to acknowledge that in case you hear this whole list and none of this is happening for you, I want you to know it's not because astrology is broken, it's because we are individuals and I can't speak to everything in your individual chart. But this is a layer that will turn out to be true for many people in many instances, okay? And that is enhanced momentum. So we definitely um, expect increased forward movement. You know, anything having to do with personal and collective pursuits. Racing forward at top speed, very quickly and for a long time. This also means that if you want to do something that you need enhanced momentum for, you want to use the windows, especially that smaller one that I talked about. Clarity and decision making. So this is a thing that is associated with planets going direct, and that is being able to see, as I like to call it, many steps ahead of you rather than just the step right in front of you, which is how I like to describe retrograde energies. It's like, you can't see much further than that. There's, it's shrouded, it's clouded, but in this time, especially with everything racing forward, you can have more clarity in decision making. And remember that anytime you make a big decision, that is a birth date for that decision. So the life of the journey that you make with that decision 
will have an imprint like a birth chart. So if you do it when the birth chart has everything going, it will have that imprint for the whole journey. Okay, it's also really favorable for initiatives. So anything having to do with new projects and ventures is very fully supported at this time. It doesn't mean that you can't also carry over old ventures and have new zest to them, because you absolutely can, but it really very nicely supports something new, something brand new, your life's work being put out there, you know, the book that you've been slaving over forever, your business that you've been wanting to launch, all of this energy is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The next thing that can happen here is smooth communication. So we can have an improvement in the communication channels, you know, anything having to do with better understanding. So basically the point of communication is to understand. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, right? But if you're trying to assert something, if you're trying to show someone something or, or experience something, basically the understanding of someone else or have a certain outcome, the communication will be easier in this time. We can also have easier problem solving. So challenges may be addressed more gracefully and more productively, and that is, you know, and more effectively during this period of time. So it's a very solution-oriented type of energy. It's the type of energy that instead of seeing the problem, we see the solution. Okay, so we've got more stuff on my list here. We've got an optimal planning time. So if you're trying to plan for this window or plan in the future, this is amazing for that, especially if you're planning, um, you know, something big or really anything big and small, basic appointments, you know, that you have to have, basic gatherings that you want to have, all the way through to like anything really big, you know, like weddings and celebrations and mergers and big sales and big purchases. So it's really a favorable time for strategic planning and long-term goals. We also have energetics of less resistance, okay? So we have a lot of road bumps that tend to happen. Um, but this period of time, we have reduced obstacles, you know, the hindrances that tend to come in life. Sure, they'll always be there. We can't really get around them. But this is a period of time where you might have a little bit less than that, less than usual. Okay, we've got a massive positive energy flow. All right, so, you know, just think about the energy of green lights all the way where you're trying to go somewhere, and if you weren't hitting green lights, it might take you 50 minutes to get there. But if you hit green lights, it takes you 25 minutes. It's that kind of energy where it's like, oh, you get to the next light and it's green, just go, go, go. There's also this energy of harmony and positive energy and flow in personal and professional settings. So, you know, anything having to do with flow, whether it's your physical movement, whether it's a project, whether it's interactions with other people. There's definitely also extra energy for seizing opportunities and more momentum and ambitious or ambition to do that. So there may have been opportunities that are around you, but you might not have felt ready to do it. Now, it just so happens that this full moon in Leo, wolf moon, um, is coinciding with the time when the planets start all moving direct. Um, and I did do a separate report on the full Leo wolf moon, which you can find on my channel as well, Annie Botticelli, YouTube. But, uh, so I'm not going to talk too much about that, but what I can say is it's a very powerful moon with a lot of layers of, of, of catalyst, you know, and this, that can be a catalyst at the same time as these energies moving forward. So you've got it coming from every different direction. You can make progress with goals like crazy in a very short amount of time. You can get a lot done, crazy amounts done years worth of stuff done in a short time. There's also a lot of support for personal growth. So self-discovery, personal development, anything having to do with moving forward in your life, with yourself, with any issues that you may have, with your relationships, with your career, with anything you're working on in the world. We also have energetics of manifestation of goals. So the increased likelihood of manifesting desired outcomes is happening when all the green lights are happening. We have the energetics of alignment with purpose. So you might feel more aligned with life purpose or have information that comes to you that gives you those truth chills that makes you feel like, wow, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And that goes along with that energetic of clarity that we talked about before. There's also this beautiful connection with collaborative success. So anything having to do with working with other people, okay, you can see how that would factor in, right? Because if the communication is better, if things are moving forward, then projects that you work on with other people can really move forward. We have the energy of innovation and creativity. So this can have to do with 
expressing yourself in new and wonderful and exciting ways that help humanity. This can have to do with, you know, having an innovative idea that solves a problem for yourself and for other people. And this is a time where it's easier to embrace change. Okay, so openness to positive changes and, you know, embracing the transformation that can happen when we say yes. Sometimes things are happening to us and we cannot control it. You know, I don't follow strictly fatalistic um, astrology, meaning there's nothing that we can say or do to affect anything. Um, but I do believe that there, we have a hybrid experience. Certain things are destined to happen. We can't get out of them. But I do believe we have free will for a reason and we can direct ourselves around different experiences or qualities of experience moving towards a destiny. Um, and sometimes something's happening and just a change in perspective in one second can change how we experience that experience. So this is a time where it might be a little bit easier to embrace change or to say yes to things that are happening rather than saying no and resisting them and just moving along with ease and grace. So hopefully you will make the most of this time, January 27th through May 2nd. You will be very surprised if you're not feeling some of these things at least, and many of you will be feeling them in a very big way. Sometimes we feel these energies early. So as January develops, you may be starting to notice this sooner than the January 27th timeline. And also remember that as of January 21st, Mercury shadow post retrograde period is free. So we do have like these cogs in the wheel of this open flow. <clears throat> and then once the planets go direct, again, you've got until March 20th before we start getting a little murky with the personal planets going into shadow. The outer planets are still direct and that means something. But as far as your planning purposes, you'll have the most oomph and the most power and the most um, awesomeness programmed into the things that you do if you can do them, you know, get them wrapped up before Mercury starts to do its thing, the shadow thing again on March 20th. So I hope that this bit has been helpful to you. Definitely, you can search for my name online. I have all kinds of things. Um, you can see my online school if you want to learn astrology, especially if you want to have an astrology certification program. That is my main focus. So you can go to beastropro.com, beastropro.com to check that out. If you think I put a lot into my free offerings, you should see what I put into that course. So it's a really wonderful nest for you to learn astrology and to grow and to learn how to earn money as an astrologer, which is something that I'm also um, blessed to be really good at. And I'd like to teach you how you can do that too. Now, if you want to see other free offerings from me, go to AnnieHelpsYou.com and you can see everything that I have right there in one place. And you can join my free VIP community where you get astrology education delivered weekly to help you make the most of the story possibilities. I hope you have a wonderful, amazing open period of free stars and I'll see you in the next report. Bye.